Wouldn't you love to add a hover effect onto your shop? So when you hover over a particular product, it goes and shows you a different image, like a variation or just some other details about them. Really easy and simple to do with a tiny bit of CSS code. The first thing we need to do is set up a custom field for the second image. The first image is gonna be your standard WooCommerce featured image, but the second one must be a custom field. And there are many ways you can do this, many plugins. The one I like to use is ACF or Advanced Custom Fields. All you're gonna do really simply is go and set up a field group. I've called it Woo ACF because obviously that's all we're doing here. And all I have is a field in here called Extra Image. If I go and edit, it, it literally is just an image, okay? There's nothing fancy going on here. Extra Image, even the title of it is called Extra Image. But what you must do is ensure that the settings for it are set to be product. So post type is equal to product. Then go and save your changes. Then what you wanna do is go over to your products and you can pick any one of them. We're gonna go over to this Roma one over here. And then you'll notice we now have a new field called extra image, which is part of the field group for Woo ACF. You can now understand the logic there. This is our featured image. This is what you'll see all the time if you set it up to look that way. So I'm now gonna go and pick my extra image. I'm gonna go for this purple one here. Look, you could pick whatever image you want. It doesn't have to be another product image. It could be an image of someone carrying the bag, for instance, or someone running with it. So there's a lot of things you could do to make your product stand out. Let's go and select that. So there we have our original image, and now we have our extra image. Go and hit update. Then go over to your product archive page or wherever you're gonna show your shop. I have over here a very standard loop grid. Uh, this has just got within it the featured image and the product title. Go and edit your template and you'll now see, as I've said, we have the image and we have the title. Now you will notice I am using the image field and I'm not using the featured image one. That's because I wanna have the ability to change what I do because I am gonna use a bit of duplication here. Let me just show you, by pulling in an image field, if it didn't already have featured image, this is what you would see. And then you would go down to where it has dynamic tag, and then I pick the featured image. So it's like a few more clicks, but it's not gonna break your finger. What we now do to get the second image is we duplicate it. Then I get rid of the X just to show you it is now a blank image. I go back to my dynamic tag and instead of picking featured image, I scroll down and get the image field, ACF image field. But now I have to tell it what field to pick. So I'm gonna click the spanner or the wrench and from the key, I'm gonna pick extra image. And you can literally see what it's done. So if you had got like extra image one, extra image two, extra image three, you could bring them all over however you want in this layout. I mean, I would recommend just going for featured image and one extra. So what we now have are two images, but I want this to appear when I hover. Here's what you do. We're gonna to go to the advanced tab and I'm gonna give this a name. I'm gonna call it the second. The first image I've actually given the name or the class name first, just in case I was gonna to start to mess around with them and have this one do something different when I hover over it. For the purpose of the code, Second, as the CSS class name works absolutely fine. Now what we need to do is set this to sit on exactly where this image is. So we're gonna go and hit position and I'm gonna set this to be absolute. Now when you do absolute, what you'll notice is it's gone over the first image, but it's not in the center. Look at the positioning of it, right? Can you see that? When you put it on absolute, it's moved it over to the left. So instead of messing around with anything here, just go over to the container that contains the template and ensure that in terms of your layout, it is aligned to be in the center like that. And it basically just aligns it in the center. It's something where I know a lot of people, they would probably sit on the actual image and they start messing around with a lot of this. You don't need to do that. Just align it into the center is absolutely fine. And now we need to add in a little bit of code so that the second image is only visible when you hover. Remember, we've given this the class name of second. Go to the actual container, go to the advanced tab, go to custom CSS and paste this in. As soon as I do that, the second image has disappeared. We are saying dot second, which was the second image, the opacity is set to zero, basically invisible. 
But when it does reappear, which is going to be the second part of the code, I want the transition to be 0.5 seconds for ease in and ease out. If you want it to be quicker, you can go for quicker. I mean, if you go for 0.1, it will be like a snap really quick. If you go for like 1.5, it will be really slow, which is not a good idea either. And then the second part of the code says selector hover. Because I haven't given my container a class name. If I had, I would have put dot, whatever is the class name, and then colon hover. When you hover, dot second, which is the second image, opacity one. Okay? So you're basically putting in a hover effect on the container. If we now go and hover over it, you can literally see what it's doing there. By the way, though, it does activate no matter where you hover on that particular container. If you felt that you only wanted to hover when you're on the actual image over there, so look, when I move away, it goes back to image one. But if you only wanted it when you're actually on the image, then what you would have done is had another container here. So into here, you'd add another container that would contain the two images, and then you would put the code into that container, not the parent. So you can manipulate it to work for how you want. But really simply, if you now wanted to show off a second image, this is how you could do it with a simple bit of code. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squad, and I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life, I never miss that.